Welcome to The Complete Knockout, the MMA podcast show where we talk all things MMA related, whether it's in the UFC or whether that's in Bellator, covering all things, match analyses, post-event recaps, rumors, all those good things. You can catch it here on The Complete Knockout. But before we get continuing today's episode, we're going to cover um, you know, the post-fight and the event recap of UFC Fight Night 138. I just want to ask you guys, and thank you for all the support. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing to the channel. Um, you know, it means a lot when people are engaging in the conversation and in the comments. So make sure, if you haven't already, like this video, comment down below what your thoughts are on UFC Fight Night 138, and make sure you leave a subscribe because it helps our channel greatly to grow. But without further ado, I think we can just get right into it and talk about UFC 138 post-event recap. So the first fight I want to talk about involves Michael Johnson versus Artem Labov. And I made a video prior to this discussing the situation Artem Labov is in with his you know, professional mixed martial record, with the fact that he's coming off two losses in a row, uh, that he was originally scheduled to fight Zubay Ira to Kagoff, but we know that he was removed due to his altercation in the battle at UFC 229, and so now we had Michael Johnson versus Artem Labov, and I was very critical and very harsh on Artem Labov in my video where I made discussing uh, and, and doing my fight prediction, and I said that, you know, I was confident Michael Johnson was going to get the victory. I was confident that he was able to, you know, pick Artem apart. I think he has more tools i think he has more uh versatility and the stand-up that artem does and i said that if artem loses this fight then you can probably say that this should be artem's last fight in the ufc and if it's not well you know it's strictly due to the fact that he knows conor mcgregor and it really depends on how much conor mcgregor can leverage himself to keep artem above on the ufc roster but as of now with his third consecutive loss Arnold Bob's record now is 13 wins, 15 losses, and one no contest. This record is not... I don't like looking at UFC records as much. Right? You can have an ugly record, but you can be a champion. You know, we have Robbie Lawler. His record was a bit more... You know, he has a lot of losses, but he was a dominant u weight champion. Other examples, you don't have to be undefeated or have a few losses on your record to be a very dangerous fighter. We can even see with Mark Hunt, his record is one of the most... Um, you know, it, it, it's a battle record, but he always puts on a fight and fans enjoy him. And he is always going to be a pull and a grab and he can market himself. However, with Arden Labov, he really doesn't have much going for him. He wasn't successful in the Ultimate Fighter. He was brought back by Conor McGregor. He has a few victories in the UFC. He has more poor performances in the UFC than he does really good performances. I, I always go allude to the fact that his competition and his fight with Cub Swanson was his best, but he still lost that fight to Cub, and then he went on to lose two in a row. And so with his third consecutive loss to a hungrier Michael Johnson, who took this fight on two weeks notice, came overweight, and just did work, picked Arnold Labov apart, cruised to that unanimous decision, took him to the ground, and really Arnold Labov just doesn't have the tools to compete in the top 10 top 15 let alone and maybe not even the top 20 of the UFC I think if Artem wants to continue his career he really needs to reevaluate himself maybe change his gym I know that's going to be kind of an all of nothing held Mary throw but currently with his current gym under coach Kavanaugh he doesn't seem to be getting the success that he wants so maybe a gym change could do it but I don't think he will be fighting the UFC anymore. I think Bellator will be open to having Arm Labov on their roster. They already have Dylan Danis. And you know, whether you like it or not, whether you kind of include the memes or not, Arm Labov does have some sort of pulling power. There's a reason why he was a co-main event fight for UFC Mockton. He has a bit of a following. He's known as Conor McGregor's really good friend, training partner, whatever you want to call him. And he has this meme floating around the internet that he is the greatest of all time, GOAT, Arnold Labov, shout out to the Discord server for pointing that out, but, you know, Arnold Labov, love him or hate him, his days in the UFC should be done, and that's not me bashing on the guy, that's not me hating on Arnold Labov, that's not me hating on T. McGregor, that's me being a rational individual, looking at a person's UFC record, looking at their overall record, and evaluating their past performances. And those evaluations do not justify another shot at Arnold Bob at UFC. 
And so with that, Michael Johnson moves up in the ranking, gets a good little paycheck for his short nose fight with Arm Labov, gets another victory, and now Arm Labov should rightfully fall out of any sort of UFC slots in the future.